Understanding Pointed Criticism, a Guide to Constructive Feedback. Hello everyone, today, we're going to dive into a very interesting English phrase that you might come across in professional or academic settings. We're talking about pointed criticism. What does it mean? When is it used? And how can you respond to it or use it effectively? Stay tuned as we explore these questions and more, ensuring you're fully equipped to handle this important concept. Pointed criticism refers to comments or feedback that are direct, specific, and often quite sharp or strong in nature. Unlike vague or general feedback, pointed criticism is targeted and focuses on particular aspects. It's not just criticism for the sake of criticism, it's meant to highlight specific issues or areas that need improvement. However, it's important to note that while it's direct, it shouldn't be personal or hurtful. So, why do people use pointed criticism? It serves several purposes. 1. Clarity. By being specific, it leaves little room for misunderstanding. 2. Effectiveness. It can be more effective in motivating change or improvement because it directly addresses the issue. 3. Professional growth. In professional settings, it's often used to help individuals understand exactly what they need to improve to excel in their roles. However, the tone and delivery of pointed criticism are crucial. It should be aimed at fostering growth and improvement, not diminishing or discouraging the individual receiving it. Receiving pointed criticism can be tough, but here's how you can handle it gracefully and constructively. 1. Listen carefully, don't rush to defend yourself. Listen to understand the specific concerns being raised. 2. Stay calm and professional. Maintain your composure. This helps in understanding the criticism better and in responding appropriately. 3. Seek clarification. If something isn't clear, ask for specific examples or further explanation. 4. Use it as a growth opportunity. Reflect on the criticism and see how you can use it to improve. If you're in a position where you need to provide pointed criticism, remember these tips. 1. Be specific and clear. Avoid ambiguity. Clearly state what the issue is. 2. Focus on the issue, not the person. Make it about the behavior or the work, not the individual. 3. Offer solutions or suggestions, don't just criticize. Offer ideas for how the issue can be addressed or improved. 4. Be respectful and professional. Ensure that your tone and choice of words foster a constructive dialogue. Pointed criticism, when used correctly, can be a powerful tool for personal and professional growth. It's all about the art of delivering and receiving feedback in a manner that is direct, clear, and ultimately constructive. Remember, the goal is improvement and understanding, not discouragement. I hope this video helps you navigate through your interactions more effectively, whether you're on the giving or receiving end of pointed criticism. Thank you for watching, and keep learning and growing.